So you built some gesture recognition based on EMG. Yes, that's correct. And can you show me the electrodes down here? Of course. So we have three electrodes. Then these two are electrodes um, to get the signal to the differential amplifier, and this is the reference electrodes connect okay. to the ground. And you and so you you build a instrumentation amplifier, differential amplifier here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's a isolator. Yeah, this is isolator. isolator, and then it goes up to the oscilloscope. So flex your arm, and you get a nice little burst of EMG there. And now, so you've you've figured out a way of getting to have converting that waveform into a gesture recognition, and tell me how you did that. First way, uh, we did that by machine learning. We get lots of data, like uh, 50 data for each gesture, and uh, we calculate the mean value, standard deviation, number of data, and the peak value, and the frequency, some, something like that, and calculate for every gesture. And then um, when we do a new gesture, it can recognize. And so you use then so you calculate those parameters, then you use some machine learning based on those parameters to to classify the motion into four different motions. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. The four okay. different motions are turn left, turn right, and turn around and squeeze. Okay. So it would be like basic control of a. Of a of a vehicle or a wheelchair or something like turn left turn right stop go kind of kind of kind of thing okay in this case we use it to control a picture, picture uh, okay next picture previous picture all right and turn around all right so let me get over here where I can see the screen all right so so we at first we'll calibration the noise when it is right is calibration the noise and then we can turn. So we're still in calibration here? Uh, yeah. yeah. So this is the original EMG signal, and this is the signal we extract for the gesture. So uh -huh. this one is the gesture signal. And this one shows the what kind of gesture we're doing, and this one shows the picture. Okay. This goes wrong, sorry. I have to restart it. Okay. So now it's again it's calibrating noise. Yeah. And now I can just just this is a squeeze to So that was yeah. a squeeze. Yeah, this okay. is a turn to rotate the picture. Oh no, it <laughs> sometimes long. goes wrong. So that was a left gesture. Yeah, this is yeah, the this is a turn, turn gesture. And, 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 now turn. Turn. and now a turn again and yeah. it got yeah. it. Go right. Alright, a right. Okay, yeah. so now I'm going to watch you. So I, you're you're giving a right gesture, yeah. and we go over here, and it's yeah. uh, it goes right. okay. So do a right again over here, so I can see the gesture. Uh, just a second. Just okay. Okay. So there's the gesture. <laughs> I think the metal got stuck here. Just a wait a second. So, so what takes the latency? Is that the analysis? Uh, no, uh, because we oh, apply taking... the data every five seconds, so it will the the picture will change every five seconds. I see. So you you need to find so so you're not synchronized to the to the signal. You you take a five second window, yeah. and then ask at, and then look for a, a signal that's within that window. Yeah. Okay. So the recognition is much faster than that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry, something goes wrong. When when the signal is cut by the uh, five neighbors, so is the pro the program may go wrong. So we haven't. Seen uh huh. That you mean if it's on the edge of the window? Yeah. Yeah. So one possibility would be to synchronize it with a gesture. 
sort of look continuously for the gesture and then look just before and just after, right?